Today's meditation is taken from Proverbs chapter 22 verses 1 to 6. The theme for today's meditation is women in wisdom literature. Each verse in the proverb speaks volumes to women. This proverb unfolds the following. Let's title each verse. Verse 1, the comparison of a good name with silver or gold. Verse 2, God is the creator of all. Verse 3, wise man and a stupid man. Verse 4, a blessing with a condition. Verse 5, soul seekers. Verse 6, instruction to parents. Let us come back to verse 1. As women of God, we should develop a good character which produces a good name in our society. 1 Peter chapter 3 and verse 6. We see Sarah who was submissive and respectful to her husband. Another example is Rebecca, Genesis 24 verse 17, who was kind and courteous to strangers. In verse 2 of this proverb, it speaks that God is the creator of all. The general trend in our community is that we value people according to their position in society. God is the creator of all and for him everyone is the same. Keeping this in mind, women need to show kindness to the downtrodden. Acts chapter 1 verse 36, we read about Tabitha who helped the poor and the blessing she received by doing good to the poor. Verse 3 A wise woman gives careful thought to her ways, words, thoughts and action. This keeps her away from destruction. But a senseless woman suffers for her mistake. We see the example Naomi who with her husband went to live in Moab. There she saw the death of her husband and her two sons. This decision was taken without inquiring from the Lord. Verse 4 A blessing with a promise. Women ought to humble and have a fear of God which brings wealth, honor and life. Esther was a woman of such quality that she received all these blessings. Being a queen, she humbled herself, fasted and prayed. Women being a mother need to give importance to all her souls in her family so that nobody is left behind in the second coming of Christ. In 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 5 we see the influence of Louis the grandmother and Eunice the mother of Timothy playing a vital role in bringing his soul to Christ the last verse 6 as a mother we should train our children to bring about holistic development in them women need to know that god has given us the opportunity to make them have a passion for Christ and will his will in their lives Correction with a rod helps us to discipline the child. A bad example is Eli the priest, 1 Samuel chapter 3 and verse 12. God dealt with Eli and his two sons because Eli did not take corrective action against his sons who committed adultery and treating God's offering with contempt. To conclude, women need the word of God to give them wisdom to turn theirs and their family members to Christ. who is the almighty god of wisdom let us pray heavenly father you are the god of wisdom and knowledge help us to look to you each day to take the right step speak the right words in accordance to your holy word help us to nurture our children to f- follow your commandments and live a life worthy of god we say this prayer in the matchless name of our lord and savior jesus christ amen